So you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and download some older applications on your iPad, and you're trying to figure out how to go through and basically download some of these. Now, number one, the big thing to keep in mind here is that if you are trying to go through and download applications on like a very, very old iPad, sometimes that's not going to work. But if applications aren't showing up properly, one of the easiest things you can basically do is to go through and open up your app store just like this. And we want to go through and basically sign in and make sure we have an Apple ID that has the applications that we want already kind of in that account some way. So in this case, we have our you know, iPad like this. Click on the top right corner of your iPad or get into your account panel settings. Sign in with your Apple account and you're going to be able to download those applications via the purchased panel. So similar to an you know, iPhone, if you go inside of your iPhone settings and you click on the you know, purchased panel settings, there should be a little purchased option that shows up. And all you're going to have to do there is basically just go through, click on purchase history, just like this on your iPad, click on purchase history, and you will be able to go through and see all the applications that you recently purchased. So that's one idea. That's one way to kind of do it. Another way to kind of do it is by using basically an older version of iTunes on a computer. So if you're able to go through and install, you know, iTunes on a computer or a Windows PC, go through, connect your particular iPad to that particular device and see if you're able to download and install those apps into this iPad that way. Now, if an application is not available, the only other thing you can really do is look for some alternatives on that iPad. Or what you can also do is find like a web application component, like alternative. If there is like a web app alternative, you should be able to go through, find it, install it, and use it that way as well. So those are kind of the main ways to go and do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.